Candace Owens is trending yet again, and she's trending because she has gone on yet another anti-Semitic rant. Y'all remember when Candace Owens got fired from the Daily Wire and Dennis Prager from Prager University, that's not really a university, um, put out that, that scathing letter which basically told us that he was no longer going to be working with Candace Owens because of her anti-Semitism. And y'all remember after that, she started to pop up on Black Podcasts. She was on The Breakfast Club, and then she was over there on Joe Budden's podcast. You remember that? A lot of us at that time, when we started to see her pop up on Black Podcasts, we all were saying, that there was a rebranding afoot. Remember, she was going to take a break. And then when she came back, remember, she posted the picture of her in her younger years and she was standing off in the hood. She posted that picture and said she was just a little black girl from whatever town it was. And she was going to take a break. And when she comes back, you know, there was going to be something new or something like that. Well, that's where we are. This is the something new. This is the rebrand. I think she is doing two things here. She's rebranding and unfortunately, she's in attacking the, at the entire Jewish community just so she can get back at the two that she really dislike the most. Mm -hmm. She really dislikes Ben Shapiro and Dennis Prager. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, unfortunately, she's using and attacking the Jewish community so that she can get back at them. Mm -hmm. They cut ties with her because she was partnered up with Kanye West, who was also spewing hateful and vile anti-Semitism, right? And towards her end of being employed with Ben Shapiro and the Daily Wire, she had started to skirt along those lines and, and they weren't having it. And so she has gone full on anti-Semitic. That's her new messaging now. Mm -hmm. The thing about it is, is that she's still tap dancing for white supremacy whether she's saying violent, hateful things about Black people in the Black community, or if she's saying violent, hateful things about the Jewish community, it's all tap dancing for white supremacy. Oh, and whoever's cutting the check. Here's one of the tweets that I came across over there, because like I said, she was trending. Candace Owens was legitimately a superstar conservative influencer. She came onto the scene and pretty much eclipsed everyone else that didn't have a primetime cable news slot. And now she has gone insane with the most moronic, brain-dead nonsense. There is no one left who respects her except the live-in-their-parents-basement groiper crowd. Here's another tweet. Candace is absolutely insane like off her rocker bonkers. This is disgusting and absurd and needs serious pushback. So the reason why Candace is trending is because she's put out a new video. I think the video is like eight, nine minutes long where she's ranting about Jewish people. And this tweet right here is my favorite. While people are posting Candace Owens' recent anti-Semitic tirade, I just like to remind everyone that Owens has always been anti-Semitic. She praised the man with the mustache, for Christ's sake. I'd also like to remind that Ben Shapiro that you promoted this idiot by employing her and amplifying her voice. Yes, he did. And y'all amplified her voice as well. See, as long as she was talking dirty and nasty and vile about the black community, y'all were okay with it. Hell, I suspect that's the whole reason why Ben Shapiro hired her and Dennis Prager hired her because Candace Owens ranting and raving and saying the things that white racists cannot say that is not of the norm. And so they employed her 
to say the things that white racists could not say. They loved it when Candace Owens came out with that saying, get off the Democrat plantation, because they were all in our comment sections telling us to get off the Democrat plantation. They loved it when her and Kanye West were over at TMZ talking about slavery was a choice. And you need to leave that victim mentality behind. They love that because they then got into our comment sections telling us that we were living with a victim mentality. They loved it when Candace Owens put together that documentary, basically saying that George Floyd didn't die from a knee to the neck. He died from a fentanyl overdose. They loved that shit. They loved it and they amplified it by going around and trolling in black people comment sections with that same old BS. They loved it when she said that Amar Arbery was a thug and he was case and she, he was casing joints, not out for a jog. They absolutely loved it when she went on over there to Fox News. And, and pushed out this lie saying that the black community was the most murderous group of people in the United States. They loved that shit. They amplified it. But now that someone else is writing a check and the target is Jewish people, now they're over on Twitter calling her insane. Bonkers. Mm-hmm. That, that's what they're calling her. She's not insane. She's not bonkers. She's just for the highest bidder. Candace Owens is for the highest bidder. And unfortunately, whoever's cutting the check this time around, they have made the Jewish community the target.